I call the four fits, which are strategic, financial, operational, and marketing fit. These four fits are very, very important. And when we look at, when Franchise India consultants look at any profile, we go into deep and see these fits. And then we really define what kind of experience cycle you are coming from and how you want to do that. But remember, the mindset uh, is very important and, and eventually what do you want from business? A lot of people ask me and say, what, what should the business give you? I think business should give you only three things. One, it should give you stability. It should give you stability so that you are taking care of your basic needs and so on and so forth. It should give you growth. Why it should give you growth? Because if it, growth is not there, you will get fatigued, you will not like it, you will lose your passion. That's very important. It should grow. Third is financial freedom, which means that eventually you are able to exit from that business and make sense out of it. A company I was reading in the morning, I'm very proud of that. Uh, and I think I've not even congratulated him, but a company I still looked and started my career initially was the initial days we worked with a company called Ferns and Petters. It's a flower shop run by a gentleman called Vikas Goodwoodia. Small flower shop, he scaled through franchising, obviously franchising, they worked with him and he built a big business on flower business. Now, nobody can think that very simple business like this, just a flower shop can scale to become India's largest uh, commerce uh, on flowers and cakes and now many other things he does in weddings and so on and so forth. Today, a big private equity fund has invested 200 crores in that company uh, at maybe significant valuation. I've not seen the exact valuation, but it should be to me over 2000 crore valuation. So look at the person who would have started a flower shop uh, at that stage, he, he he was not doing anything unique. He was just opening a, a small flower shop. And that flower shop scaled to become such a big, large business today that he's been invested by a cash investment of 200 crores. Today morning, I actually read in the in the news and I'm going to congratulate him. So this is, this is what journey of entrepreneurship is all about. So you really want that financial freedom eventually to come in, right? So always think about the business unless and until it give you these three things. It gives you stability, it gives you growth, a continuous growth, and it also gives you eventually financial freedom where you can do things which you always wanted to. A lot of people come and tell me, I want to do what I am passionate about. I say, you don't do that because sometimes passions are not right businesses. You know, you can be passionate about photography, but uh, you don't want to pursue as a career because it's not rewarding enough. You should get a business which can give you these three things so you can follow your passion. That's the cycle you should do. You should always look at businesses which can give you good stability, good growth, and also eventually financial freedom so that you can follow your passion.